Okay, today is May 2nd, 2012, and I'm sharing you guys my CVS trip that I did today. The first thing that I got was the One Touch Ultra Mini Meter Kit that was on sale for $10. And there is a $10 off coupon found in the Rep Plum 429 insert for $10. So I basically got this product for free. And I just had to pay sales tax, which was 72 cents out of my pocket. So the sales tax here is 7.25. There is a CVS store near my house that has their sales tax a little bit lower. So it's like 7%. And I would have paid like 70 cents for this item at that CVS store, but it's kind of too far for me to go over there. So. And since I don't have a car, I have to, like, pay the sales tax here in Charlotte, North Carolina. So, so yeah, I'm like, oh, gosh. And then elsewhere, like, if you're in Concord or not not Concord, but if you're, like, in Mooresville or um, Gastonia, I believe, you will pay 6.75. So, I'm not from there, so I wish I was, but oh well. And I know some other some other places, they cancel out the taxes whenever you get the item for free, but our area, they don't, they make you pay sales tax no matter what. Oh, that's so crazy, so. So, before I was checking out at the self-checkout line, I spotted the Cotton now 230 toilet tissue roll. Um, I really like the design of the container because really most of the single toilet tissue paper is like prepackaged in a in a paper. So so this one is is placed in a container. So I got one of them. For one ninety nine, and it showed that you get a dollar ninety nine in extra care bucks, and that the deal doesn't end until later on this month. So I got one of those for, and I also saw some coupons inside the inside the container. So. So I don't know if I'm going to be using them or not. So, so yeah, I just wanted to share you guys that. And, and I will show you guys my receipt. So the whole purpose for going to CVS today was because I needed to use my extra care buck that was going to expire tomorrow. 5-3-2012, so that first coupon that I scan expires 5-3. And then that second coupon came from a, from my winter 2011 and 2012 savings. So that came out last month. So, so I, I, pre, I used that one that coupon as well and that expired later but that's okay. And then that third coupon had to be had to be adjusted to nine ninety nine. And and there was just too much drama with that coupon. So so that first coupon that I scanned worked fine. I I actually scanned it and I put it in a coupon slot. The second coupon when I scan, and I told the cashier that I already scanned one of them, and I already put it in the coupon slot, and he thought that I didn't put it in, and all this other stuff. So, so he didn't believe that I put put one in already. So, so that one worked, and the second one, the second one he scanned it. So. And you guys know that those coupons, they take time to scan. So 
just be patient with it, and I will try to keep scanning and scanning. And if it, if it doesn't scan, then make sure to get one of those self-checkout people to assist you. And then that third coupon, this is where the drama has started. So first, he tried to key in those numbers. Would not go through. I think it said that it exceeded the value or it could not be found. And I'm assuming because of the new barcode as well. So, so yeah. And then, so I think he did that two times and would not go through. And then, and then he was looking at the back and he was like, um, his, it was showing that walmart.com slash Zyrtec thingy. And it's like, you cannot use this coupon because that is from Walmart. I'm like, well, it says the manufacturer coupon on the top. So, and then right here where it says walmart.com slash Zyrtec, that's for another item. So, so yeah, I mean, that then had did anything with the coupons so itself. So so that's just advertising and I wasn't really happy with that but he said that I cannot use that at first. So basically it could not scan because that the value had exceeded and he had to adjust it down to a penny. And so and so what he did was um, he had to um, put it in as a manufactured coupon, key in the amount to $10 at first, and then still said that it was exceeded. Did it again, said the same thing, and then he adjusted it down to a penny whenever I was trying to tell him to adjust it. In my, well, I was... T- I was thinking about it in my head that he should adjust it down to a penny as well. So he so he adjusted it down to a penny and I got it for free. So, so right there everything would have been eleven ninety nine after coupons was subtotal was zero, paid seventy two cents with a gift card and I got back a dollar ninety nine cents in extra care box. So even though I lost a penny, I'm okay with that. So um, one more thing is that I didn't. I heard that several CVS stores were clearancing out the HP ink, I believe. They, normally they would cost like twenty dollars to twenty one dollars and I did not see any of it at my C V S and I was wanting to do a a price check on that on that item but they had those little they bought those little little things so then where people would not take the ink away from the store because you guys know how much ink costs. So um, there wasn't no sell sign or anything, but I w- I'm going to double check and make sure tomorrow and I'll ask an employee over there how much it costs. I mean, if I can scan the item and see because, that you know, sometimes they don't put the sell sign out. So I'm going to double check and make sure before 